it's not just my life that I am presenting. It's a snapshot of India from 1974 when I started to 2011, which is now. And I'm giving you a kind of history of India from that period, a personal history as I have seen it. But so it's more than my life, it's a history of India. And whether they agree with my version of history or not, that's another point. But I've tried to present people, places, incidents that I saw and I interacted with since 1974. And uh, it to, in that sense, this is not a book just about a, a journalist writing about his life. It's about a very important period of India's history and which should be remembered. And I hope that I got some of it right. So I was born in, I was sort of, in a sense, born in Lucknow and started in Lucknow. And uh, I reached Bombay much later, so I call it a Lucknow boy because I am, my education, etc. was all in Lucknow. Well, it, these things are never easy, but if you are writing a memoir, then you have to tell the story of your life and you must tell it in its entirety, the good and the bad and uh, so you, ha you, you can't hold anything back, otherwise it's half the story. No, no, I made sure that everything that I wanted to put in my memoirs, I did put in my memoirs. I didn't. There were so many other things but which were not important. The more important things I put in my memoirs. Well, I've been here for 17 years. And I think the main reason is the fact that I got the kind of editorial freedom which I didn't get elsewhere, so I lasted so long because uh, I was allowed to do my work and uh, allowed to produce a magazine uh, according to the, what I thought was right and what my colleagues on the staff thought was right. And there was very little or al almost no interference from the proprietors. Well, I, 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 I told the magazine Congress was mostly about the management side of things and not the editorial. Uh, but I, I wasn't invited. No, I'm getting, I'm too old now. I've done uh, one, two, three, three daily newspapers and now I don't want to do anything new. I've, uh, I've reached the end of my career so I just want to fade away quietly. No, we thought about this many times in Outlook and nobody in Outlook including the proprietor was very interested in television simply because television, there were so many other people in tele, there were already about 300 news channels. So we felt that we couldn't provide anything new or different. And we were quite happy with print and since I'm mostly interested in print, I didn't show any great interest, neither did the owners to get into television. Well, my advice to me, uh, to a, a new media baron would be don't get into this business if you are just interested in making money. Uh, this is a business where, of course, profits are important, uh, but this goes beyond profits. So if you have any kind of commitment to the country and if you can withstand occasionally some losses even to your investment, then get into the business. But if you are getting into the business because you think uh, there are profits or you think that you will have great political clout in the government, etc., then those are all the wrong reasons for getting into publishing. 
Well, be good at your job. I think that's very important. Whatever you do, you must be very good at your job, outstanding at your job. Therefore, if you're outstanding at whatever you do, whether you're a sub-editor or a, or a correspondent or a photographer, if, if you're outstanding in your job, somebody somewhere will always hire you. No, that was just the beginning of my career and I, I wouldn't uh, like to go back there. But I mean, the seven, eight years that I spent there uh, were very interesting and I learned a lot in that period. I don't think so because I've been, uh, I've been fair to everybody. Uh, I have, you know, he, in his case, he was also under a lot of political pressure. So I, I had full sympathy for his uh, situation where between Indian Post and his own business interests, he couldn't sacrifice his entire business interests because at that time you had this license permit Raj and the government was very active in, uh, in economic affairs. No, I didn't read, they were, uh, I didn't read them wrong because they got they also, I suppose, did not realize how difficult it is to be a media baron at that time. I'm not. I'm talking of 1980s and 90s, uh, when, as I said, that bus businessmen who had, say, five percent interest in publishing and 95 percent interest in other things, that there, if they attack the government, then their other business interests would suffer. And I don't think they fully appreciated this. Oh, I think there are, there are always some regrets, some things that you should have done and you didn't do. But by and large, I think I have, uh, I have played it by the book, as I say, and I have, I have no regrets, no. I think life has been very fair with me. Yes, I think there, there is some need for self-regulation, there is some need for accountability. You can't have a free-for-all as far as the channels are concerned. And I think most channels, <coughs> most channels now are realizing that they are losing public support. You see, the most important thing is that their viewers support. And uh, therefore, they need some guidelines, professional guidelines. And I think there is that appreciation now, and I think in the next few months you will see something, some self-regulation. No, I think uh, current affairs is current affairs, anything which is current. Uh, uh, for example, film stars, Amir Khan made a film called People Live. That was very much part of uh, news. Entertainment is part of news. Entertainment and news are not separate. So I don't think we should treat, but I think like there's a place for everything. I mean, you must, uh, entertainment is a place, uh, national politics has a place, everything has a place. So everything, you must find the right balance, I think. That's the job of an editor. Well, we do have a press council. Uh, <laughs> but I think even the print media now realizes that the press council doesn't have any teeth, doesn't have any punitive powers. <coughs> so there is some need, even in the press, print media, for a new set of guidelines. Editor Junior. I've already got Editor Senior, so I've got Editor Junior now. But I can't keep another, we tried to keep another dog. My wife was very keen that we should have two dogs, but the editor wouldn't just allow another dog to come in. So we tried once or twice, actually brought a dog into the house, 
but he made life hell for that dog and so we finally had to give him away to somebody because he he is very possessive and he likes 20, 24 by 7 attention